Namaste, everyone, and Happy New Year to all of you. So here we are for another year of Anchor the Light. And um, I was thinking of how should we start this year? We still got out of the shower. Anyway, um, how should we start this year? I can give you something inspirational or something that is uh, immediately useful. So take a look at the screen. Uh, one of my favorite quotes. I'm sure you've heard me say this before. Done is better than perfect. Okay? Done is better than perfect. And I know a lot of you, yeah, but you know, I'm a perfectionist. Okay, that's good. That's good to be a perfectionist, you know, trying to get things done. Um, just make sure when you say that you're a perfectionist, it's not an excuse to procrastinate. Some of you go, what? What do you mean procrastinate? Well, sometimes the reason we want to uh, use the reason of trying to make things perfect is because we're procrastinating. <laughs> true? Not true. Just being really upfront with this. Yeah, I want to make sure everything's just right. Are you sure you just, uh, you want to make it everything just right? Or you're afraid to, well, you know, really <laughs> take action? True? Or another reason we don't get things done is we overthink it. You think of it so much, you think yourself to a level that you quit. Yeah, but you know, I'm trying to do this, but there are certain things uh, I'm not sure of, so maybe it might not work, blah, blah. And the more you think about it, what happens? Energy follows where you put your attention to. I should think of one thing that could make it go wrong, <clears throat> you can think of two things. As you think of two things, it becomes five things. And before you know it, it's ten things. True? Get things done. If there's anything I would, in my humble opinion, that all of us should focus on for the coming year, is getting things done. Results count. That's not something you usually hear in spiritual teachings. <clears throat> in spiritual teachings, it's always like, well... I'm waiting for my intuition, my download, blah, 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 everything but move your ass. True? Yeah, but you know, I, I need to scan the energy. I want to make sure. Okay. Have you done that yet? Yeah, I, I, I'm working on it. True? Yeah, but I need to make sure everything is just right. While you're trying to do that... Opportunity flew by. True? Yeah, but I'm afraid to make, the, to make a mistake. Guess what, buddy? Whether you like it or not, we're going to make mistakes. But the sooner you get some mistakes out of the way, after you, you, know, you planned it out, you get those little mistakes out of the way, the faster you are in getting ahead. What does that mean? <clears throat> Let's say you want to get a project going. If you don't test it, you don't get something started, you never know what doesn't work. I mean, you planned it out. Okay, step one, step two. Okay, I've thought of everything already. Now, in order to find out if this really works, you have to push that button. You have to take that leap. If not, what happens? You're perpetually planning and never getting anywhere. It's very similar to some people I know. Again, don't take this the wrong way. I'm just using life situations uh, as a way to share information. There are some people who are perpetual students. When I say perpetual students, listen carefully, I'm talking about they keep going to school because they're afraid to get a job. Some of you know I'm talking. I, I knew a few relatives that are like that. They're going to school. Okay. They graduated. Okay, you paid all this money to go to school. Make some money. <laughs> Do something with it. Uh, before they go to, they take uh, more classes, they got another degree. I mean, this person's smart. Okay, they have another degree. Great. What are you doing with it? Well, but I need a master's. Okay, so they, they go and they get their master's. And they get their PhD. All right. You're the smartest dude in the planet. What are you doing with it? 
Uh, I'm still studying. I have nothing against education. Education is great. It makes people smarter. But it has to be practical smartness. <laughs> Getting things done. You know, that's why there are some people, they barely have any education, but they're street smart. You know how? By screwing up enough, you know what not to do. And by then, you know what to do. So there has to be a balance between super education <laughs> and just um, no education, just learning from life. And that is thinking about it to a certain level, planning it, and then as soon as you have something viable, take action. Because if a person doesn't take action, eh, it's all in the energy world. So write this down. You've heard me say this many, many times. I don't want to prolong this because I think you get the point, right? Decide what you want to. What you want. The what. After you decided what you want, it, what, good health, better health, losing weight, making more money, better relationship, more inner peace, whatever it is, the what, <clears throat> the target. After you have the target, you have to come up with the reasons why you want it. So what, why, the why gives you the motivating factor. Without the why, if you just go what and then how to do it right away, if you meet an obstacle or hindrance, guess what happens? You'll give up. The why keeps you going. Make sense? I need to get to this destination. I need to lose this weight because I need to, whatever, improve my health, for example. There's to be a why other than, it'd be nice. So what, why, then how? Why is how important? Well, <laughs> it's obvious, isn't it? You need to take steps to get there. Now, the how part, there are a lot of people who are lazy who says, oh, no, no, no. If it's meant for me, it'll just come to me. Sounds familiar? Again, drives me nuts when people use spiritual teachings to be lazy. You plan it through. As they say, you fail to plan. <laughs> what happens? You plan to fail. The how is like what, what my teacher used to call um, task management. This is my objective. This is why I want it. Why I want it so badly. And these are the different tasks that are in front of me that I need to accomplish to get there. Right? Let's say you want better health. That's your objective. First of all, when you have an objective, you need to qualify and quantify Better health is nice, but what does that mean? Has to do with your weight, has to do with your blood pressure, has to do with your uh, sugar level, has to do with whatever markers you have. There has to be something that is qualitative and quantitative. After you decide what that is, you have to ask yourself why. <laughs> you need to have leverage of why you want it. And then after that, you go, okay, better health. So what are the tasks I need? Number one, I need to improve my uh, diet. Number two, I need to have, uh, the body needs to rest. Number three, need to have proper exercise. So those are the tasks, then you break it down. What are those tasks? What are the subtasks? Okay, let's say exercise. Okay, I'm good. No. Okay, how long is the exercise? What type of exercise? What is it addressing? Rest. Okay, well, I get sleep. How much sleep? Is it restful sleep? Make sense? So, what, why, how, each part of it has to be what? Has to be chopped down into quantifiable and qualifiable parts. And then comes the most important part. You heard me say this so many times. All the plans in the world, the best plans in the world, basically go nowhere if they don't have the next step, which is when. Translation, schedule and deadlines. Every task has to have a schedule or deadline. Otherwise, 
It's a great idea. It's a great idea. So we go, and? Exactly. And? <laughs> it stays an idea. Completely useless. The when is how you know how serious a person is. Somebody says, hey, man, haven't seen you for a long time. Let's get together. When? Um, oh, let me check my calendar. Okay, go ahead. Open your phone. Check it. Oh, no, no, no. Then you know. Pretty much when there, you know they're not serious. If you have children, that's the single <laughs> most fearful question. Are you going to clean your room? Yes. When? <gasps> True? Let's say somebody says they love you so much. Honey, I love you with all my heart, blah, blah, blah. You go, okay, when are we going to get engaged? <gasps> when? One of the most powerful words. To know if somebody's committed or not. You're going to start exercising. You're going to go to the gym, blah, blah. Okay, when are you going to get started? Oh, we're going to get better rest now. From now on, going to sleep some more, blah, 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 so on, so on, so on. Yeah? When? Oh, I don't know, sometime, because tonight I need to go to useless websites and waste my time till 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Sounds familiar? Oh, I need to go party with some friends for a few more weeks. Mm -hmm. All right, there goes your when, down the toilet. Oh, I need to improve my diet. All right, when? Oh, well, you know, there's a New Year's party, there's this party, I'm going to stuff my face and stuff my body. Uh, I'll do it sometime. <laughs> Forget that. Complete waste of time. True? That's one of the things I love with uh, Tony, Tony Robbins. After inspiration comes massive action. You cannot have massive action if there's no schedule. So what is your target? Why do you want to hit that target? How are you going to hit the target? When you're going to hit those, that target and move your ass. <laughs> That's it. That's your formula of success. That's it. Simple. So the when forces you, basically pins you down. I got to do this now. That's why when I, when I saw that proverb or that saying, done is better than perfect, I go, wow, all of us needs that. All of us, me included. I'm going, how do we start the year? By looking for results so that at the end of the year, we can look back at 2024 and go, it was a good year. I got stuff done. Then you do it next year. I got more stuff done. Again, it's not just about money, not about something material. It could be as simple as you want to have more inner peace. That's your objective. Why? Because you're tired of being stressed out and angry. Okay, that could be a good reason. Maybe you'll find more <laughs> as you keep going. Okay, how are you going to do it? Oh, I'm going to meditate more. I'm going to join this group. I'm going to have a friend meditate together. Okay, great. When are you going to get started? Well, we kind of help you with that one already. We have Anchor Light for six times a week. Like you're watching here, we stick to a schedule. And all you have to do is press that button and put your face in front of the screen. Right? You see, one reason people don't succeed, not the only one, but one of the main ones is they don't really want to. There's no motivation. And because they don't have that motivation, there's no why, the rest just disappear. That's it. So, yeah, lesson is very simple. Think of 2024. At the end of 2024, what do you want to say when asked, what have you accomplished? If you can come up with an answer, uh... <laughs> better move back in time as in now and start planning everything. Now, 
I'm not trying to share this with you because I perfected it or mastered this. Just want to get that out there. In fact, I was the worst one. When I first met my teacher, 1998, no, 1988, I was a mess. I had a lot of ideas, but nothing happened. In fact, I was telling people, yeah, looking back, go, hey, you know, you heard the Midas touch? You know, everything they touch turns to gold. I have the minus touch, M-I-N-U-S. Everything I touch disappeared. <laughs> you want it to fail? Let me touch it. Because I would plan, I would talk well. Let's do this, but I never got anything done. Not until I met my teacher, because he held me accountable. How many students are you going to teach? How many souls are you going to transform? I give him all these great ideas. He goes, and then he asked me, when? <clears throat> Master, what do you mean when? When? <laughs> um, I'm working on it. Next time I see him again, all right, how many students have you taught? Um, Master, I'm working on it. <laughs> At some point, the pressure was so strong, I go, I think I better move my ass. This is, uh, I'm not getting away with this anymore. <laughs> Say, push me. So every time he's coming, I'm stressed out of my mind. I go, oh, this is coming to the United States. <gasps> so what I would do, I'd push. I'd work harder, plan, move, just push and push and push. And every time he shows up, he asks me, okay, where are you at? What have you produced? <gasps> then as time went by, because he basically <laughs> changed my nervous system, <gasps> it got to the point like it became part of me. So after he left his body in uh, 2007, I couldn't stop. It's like he cranked the engine so much, there's so much momentum, drive myself crazy when I'm not doing anything. Not because I'm not the, I'm the most industrious person in the world. In fact, I was the laziest person in the world probably before the teacher found me. How did he do it? He put something in front of me and he pushed. So you ask yourself a simple question. What do you want to accomplish on December 31, 2024? You can't just say, well, I'll, you know, it'll come to me, blah, 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 then you'll waste another year. I know, that sounds harsh. You go, some of you who are new go, I come for spiritual inspiration. Yeah, my spiritual inspiration for you is get it done. It's just like you say, oh, yeah, but you know, I'm more into loving people. Okay. Define it for me. What do you mean by loving people? Just sit there and go, bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. That's loving, that's loving people, then you're wasting your time. It has to produce results. Don't wait for all the conditions to be perfect. Because if you're waiting for that, it'll never happen. True? Always expect results. Intention without results, useless. Tattoo that to your brain. So tired of hearing people, oh, it's all about the intention. I'm going, that's why your life is a mess. All you do is intent, but you sit on your ass. Intention without results is completely useless. That sounds harsh, but it's the reality of it. Intention will not pay your bills. Intention will not improve your relationship. Intention alone will not improve your health or give you inner peace. Intention and execution will. That's that. Shall we meditate? Some may go, yeah, after you beat me up so much, okay, let's meditate. Shall we? Let's ask for blessings. To the Divine Supreme God, Divine Father, Mother, to all the spiritual elders, holy masters, saints, archangels, holy angels, and spiritual helpers, to my teacher, Master Tohok Sui, Mahagu Jemailing, we humbly ask for divine light, divine love. Thank you for your guidance, help, healing, and divine protection. We thank you in full faith. And so it is. Now, just before we do meditation, and because afterwards you guys should be spaced out, <clears throat> just to put things in perspective for you. Uh, we'll do it on both fronts. One, uh, with my teacher, Grand Master Tohok Sui, I'll just share with you a short story. And then one, with a mentor and great friend, uh, Tony Robbins. Okay? So... With my teacher, Grandmaster Tsao Hok Sui, let's say there's a, we just finished a great big convention, several thousand people, people blessed out of their mind, feeling great, happy, spiritually connected, et cetera, et cetera, right? The so event's over. We leave the venue. Let's say we go to his hotel room. 
what would normally a person like that do after guiding a facility in a great spiritual retreat? You sit there and go, oh yeah, it was a good retreat, huh? Let's meditate, you know, or feel good. Nope. You know the first thing he tells me? Okay, okay. Um, he start telling me, okay, the next project is this, the next project is that. Okay, what are you doing about it? Do this, do that. I'm going. He didn't even give himself time to enjoy. I just had a great retreat. What should we do? No, he just said, okay, when's the next project? Let's do this. Uh, when's the next class? Wh who are the next people we need to talk to so that we can transform more people? I'm going. Yeah. Tony Robbins. Same thing. After UPW, 10, 15,000 people. After the event, I'm at his house. And you would think he'd be like, oh, yeah. He would talk about, yeah, that was a good event. These people, before you know it, guess what he's doing? All right. <laughs> I, I'm right there. We, he and his um, personal assistant, they're already planning. Okay, uh, call this person, do that, do this, do that. Okay, tomorrow I have that meeting. And it's like nonstop. That's what achievers do. So I give you two extremes. One, connected purely on the spiritual level, produce result. Somebody who is an achiever when it comes to business, relationships, success, same thing. It's always how to get things done. After this project, when's the next one? It's not, it's not like, oh man, I work on this, a project is done. Let me rest for five more incarnations, then do it again. It's one after the other, one after the other, one after the other. And some of you, yeah, but that's stressful. I got news for you. If it's part of your spiritual DNA or it's already part of your system, it's not stressful. It's stressful at that point when you're not accomplishing anything. That's the difference. You get my point? For someone who's not achieving, it's stressful to, to do that, to go, when's the next project? What am I going to do? It's stressful. But once you already got your machinery going, you're humming, you have that momentum, it's stressful when you're not producing results. That's the difference. Okay, enough. Let's meditate. Put your hand like this. Be aware of your crown. I am that I am. I'm not the body, I'm not the emotion or the thoughts, I am the soul. I am a spiritual being of divine intelligence, love and power. I am connected in one with my higher soul. I am connected in one with the divine spirit in me. I am a child of God. I am one with God, I am one with all. There's only oneness. Now open your hands in blessing. We'll do meditation twin hearts as taught to us by my teacher, Grand Master Twahok Sui. So be aware of your heart, your hands. Imagine the earth in front of you. Fill the earth with beautiful pink light. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Wherever there's hatred anywhere in the world, let me sow unconditional love. <clears throat> be aware of your heart, your hands. Fill your home with beautiful pink light. Your loved one, your friends, your loved ones and your friends. Bless the people you work with beautiful with beautiful pink light, whether it be in person or remotely. Or your clients and friends, fill them with beautiful pink light. Let it spread to the city, the country, let it spread throughout the entire earth. Where there's injury, let me sow pardon and forgiveness. Where there's doubt, faith, despair, hope. Let's recall people we know who have been going through troubling or difficult times. Visualize their lives turning around, getting better and better. Bless them with hope and with faith and a better life. So be it. May all be blessed. Where there's darkness, let me sow light. And where there's sadness, let me sow joy. Just be aware of your heart and your hands. Fill the earth with peace, with love, with the spirit of forgiveness, with hope and with faith, with light and lots of joy. So be it. Just be still. 
Now be aware of your heart. Inhale. Lift that loving energy to the crown. Stay at the crown. Exhale. And stay there. Your crown is filled with so much golden light. Just let that golden light from your crown flow down through your hands and fill the entire earth. Fill the earth with so much golden light. Our hearts are one, our souls are one, our spirits are one. There's only oneness. From the heart of God, through my soul, through my entire being, may every person, every being on earth be blessed with love and with kindness. May all be blessed with great joy and happiness, with understanding, harmony, and divine peace. May all be blessed. So be it. Just let loving golden energy flow through you. If you have loved ones or friends who are going through health issues, relationship issues, even financial issues, bless them with this golden light. Visualize their lives turning around, getting better and better. Fill them with this golden light. Now, be aware of your heart, your crown. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Allow the golden light to just flow to you more intensely. Bless your home, your family members, your friends, loved ones, people you work with. Let it just spread throughout the city, the country. Let it spread throughout the entire earth. Fill the entire earth, both the inner and outer worlds, with light, with love, and with peace. Bless it with massive amounts of golden light. From the center of the heart of God, may every person, every being on earth be blessed with love and with kindness. May all be blessed with inner peace and inner healing. May all be healed of any pain, sorrow, or suffering. So be it. Just be still and let the blessings keep flowing through us. So be it. May all be blessed with understanding, with harmony, with goodwill, and the willingness to do good. May all be blessed. So be it. Now lower your hands. Keep your eyes closed. Keep your tongue on the roof of your mouth. Imagine a brilliant, brilliant star just floating above your head. Be aware of your heart. Send a stream of love from your heart up, up to the center of your head, up to that beautiful golden star. <sighs> Stay there. Just be still. Be aware of that golden light. Just the golden light. Just be still. You're not the body. You are that being of light. You're not any of your emotions or your thoughts. You are that being of light. Just be still. Your entire awareness and consciousness is in that brilliant golden light. Just listen. Om. Om. Allow your complete awareness to just melt into that golden light. Just be still. Om Mani Padme Hum still be aware of that brilliant light 
be aware of the inner stillness and just simply let go now. Gently, slowly, gently and slowly, come back to your body, move your fingers, move your toes, gently, slowly come back, raise your hands again in blessing, picture the people you're loving in front of you, fill them all with beautiful golden light, may all of them be blessed with good health, with much happiness, with abundance and prosperity and with spirituality, so be it. May all be blessed. Now be aware of your feet and the base of your spine. Fill the earth with golden light. Let our beloved Mother Earth be blessed with divine light, divine love and divine power. Let our beloved Mother Earth be healed, regenerated and revitalized, so be it. To the Divine Supreme God, Divine Father, Mother, thank you. To all the spiritual elders, holy masters, saints, archangels, holy angels and spiritual helpers. Personally, to my teacher, Master Tsokok Sui Mahaguji Meiling, thank you in full faith, and so it is. Okay. So I hope you enjoy the short meditation. We add a little extra energy on it. Um, and some of you are asking, if you just joined us, all of them, at least we try to, all the videos we have on Anchor Light, we leave it online, whether it's be on YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram. That way you can keep going back and... Either take notes or fast forward, do the meditation, whatever. We're here to support you. Okay. Now, speaking of support, um, I know a lot of you, about 6,000 something of you joined us for the success workshop in, what, two days ago. Okay. Is that two days ago? I think it's two days ago. First of January. All right. We have it online. I know there were some issues with fast forwarding. The, all the glitches have been removed. So um, we're going to have it there for another seven days. That way you have a chance to uh, go back where we went step by step, every part of our lives, breaking down, disintegrating the limiting thoughts and beliefs out of your aura and your chakras and installing the positive ones. And we had great uh, feedback from it because the whole idea is this, for some of you have not joined us. You see, you have to understand every thought, every emotion is something I or you, the soul, created. So this accumulation of thoughts and emotions is what you call tendencies or biases or habits make sense so when a person has a tendency to procrastinate or a tendency or habit of smoking drinking or doing something unwholesome when they say i can't help it that's because these thoughts and emotions got so strong instead of the soul directing the thoughts and emotions it creates this cloud of thoughts and emotions now control the soul make sense so the whole idea is to understand, number one, the soul created these thoughts and emotions. You say, well, why is that important? Because if I know I created these, number one, that's the creation, I'm the creator. I control it, not the other way around. That alone gives you power. Number two, if it's something you created, that means you can choose not to create it again. And number three, whatever you created that you don't want, you can dismantle it. It's just like if you're a carpenter, you created some furniture, you go, oh, it's ugly. You can tear it down, <laughs> create something else. The reason people have difficulty breaking old habits is because they don't realize they created it. They don't realize it's simply something they can disintegrate or dismantle and create something else. 
So in that one, one, two-hour workshop, we go through step-by-step, step, identifying what are these thoughts and emotions we created, we dismantle, disintegrate it, and we create the positive ones. And in the end of it, we also do a group healing. So if you still want to go to it, uh, and it will post it again, you just go to masterco.org. I think the link should be there. If not, we'll be posting it again soon. So we'll have it up there for another seven days, and it doesn't cost you anything. It's free. So if free is still too much for you, <laughs> then you're not serious about success. <laughs> Simple as that. All right. Other than that, we will see you in seven hours and ten minutes for the next Anchor Light. Namaste, everyone. We wish you joy, happiness, and lots of success for the coming year. Or we say in the Asian tradition, may you be blessed with <laughs> health, wealth, and success. May you be healthy, wealthy, and successful. Did I miss anything? Happy, healthy, and wealthy. There you go. Namaste, take care, God bless, and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.